looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be ranking the best free 89 overall standout player to be taking from your free fantasy pack. Now, the way you get this fantasy pack, I know people are going to ask throughout this video, is going to be very simple. You're going to come over to Solos, come up to Team Affinity, and come to the Team Standout Series 2. Now, when you play these, if you play through all 32 challenges, you earn a nat 89 overall of your choice. So, that's pretty much, it's a fantasy pack. So, very, very great. Going to be super easy to go ahead and get. Obviously, it's going to take some time. It's not going to be like 10 seconds to do, but neither is that the case for anything free. I mean, I know some, I know some people want to log into the game and just see the player sitting there for them, but that's not always the case. But for today's Poodle Squad, shout out before we get into the video. Edwin Romero, shout out to you man for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you for showing support each and every video. If you guys want a chance to be shouted out, all you gotta do is like the video. Comment down below Poodle Squad, and of course, turn on that noti bell once you do those things, you're entered to be shouted out. And if you happen to need coins for anything in Madden to pick up some of the new uh, 50 players, pick up some of the new team standouts besides your free one, head over to Mutt Reserve down below. Use code Poodle for an additional 15% off. Heavily discounted coins are now players and training. So make sure to take advantage. But let's head over to team standouts. Start our ranking. So I have it out of seven. Now, I didn't do a full, I mean eight. I didn't do a full 10. Because I didn't feel like there was another two players I had to throw on that list, to be quite honest with you guys. Like, I don't want to force another player on that list that may not, just I don't think needs to be picked. But starting off with number eight, we got Deron Harmon. Now, you may not know who he is. You may not know how good he is. But in Madden, guys, he's really, really great. So you can power him up, of course, and that's what you're going to need to do here. When you power him up, he gets to 89 speed, which is very, very usable right now. But the big key here is going to be that zone coverage and that man coverage. So he gets to a 94 man and 86, I mean, sorry, 94 uh, zone and 86 man and 92 player rate powered up. Now, if you max out lockdown 50 out of 50 on him, you can get him up to 99 zone coverage and about 92 man coverage now, or 91 man coverage. That is what's crazy. He will get the 99 zone. If you guys know, 99 zone is super, super reactive. Like literally anything thrown in his air, he gets like super great jumps on things. He just makes a lot of crazy plays. That zone's gonna be different. And he gets the man, and he gets and he gets decent speed. Gonna be similar to Micah Hyde, but a lot cheaper. And he's gonna be super, super great. You could even put him in the box, like as like a linebacker. Like you could also put him as a linebacker in the middle of the field, like a big nickel scheme, and you will have crazy, crazy good coverage in the middle of the field with great linebacker speed, great excel, good height, good play rec, and have the hit power, of course, as well. Moving on from that, next guy's coming at number seven. Now this guy's more of a guy that's not gonna be on God squads in my opinion, but he's going to be very, very useful. And that's Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray is going to be that guy, like, if you can't afford a Vic and you can't get that speedy quarterback or Lamar, you get Kyler. You could power him up, of course, so he gets to 90 speed. He will get his throw on the run to an 89, and all of his accuracy will be, like, mid to mid-80s. So he's not going to be super accurate. He's But at the end of the day, only thing Vic has over him in terms of, like, you know, threshold is going to be that, that uh, deep accuracy for the most part and throw on the run. But again, I'm not saying he's anywhere near Vic, but I'm saying if you need like a more budgety option of a guy that you can toss in a Cardinals steam team, or you want you like Kyle in real life, he's not horrible. And out of all the quarterbacks dropped, I think he's the best one in terms of which was the well, most fun one. So if you guys want to Kyle on like a budget squad, or you want to go have fun, it's going to be great. And that speed's very, very good for uh, online. If you, if you play very conservative offense and you run a lot and you only make passes when you need to, I think Kyler could really get the job done. Next on the list, this guy's actually really, really good because he's at a depth position. That's Kyler, uh, Calvin Ridley, sorry. He's a depth position, so I, have to, I, I rank him up a little bit higher because he's a wide receiver. So let's say you put him as your, your one for now and you get a new one. Then he could be your two, then he could be your three, then four. So that is very beneficial because a lot of people get players that aren't at depth positions like quarterback or running back, let's say. And you don't really get to use him after that. But powered up and chemed up, guys, he will get the deep route running threshold and the speed threshold. So he's essentially Tyree Kill. He's essentially a Tyree Kill that's slightly better. So in terms of just having a guy like Tyree Kill that you can put on there, if you can't afford Tyree Kill or his power up or Calico or any of those guys, you can get Calvin Ridley as your free player. Of course, he's free. You don't got to worry about the price. And you can go ahead and just have him locked onto your team. Next on the list, I really like this guy, although some people may not. I think Marcus May is super, super great. Again, because you can't put him at linebacker or at safety. Powered up and chemed up, guys. He gets 91 speed, 91 excel. He's six feet tall. That's great. His zone coverage will be a 90 powered up. Now, if you chem him up, he'll have a play rec above a 90. His man coverage could get to, I believe, an 89, and his zone coverage can get to like a 95 or 94. That's super, super solid. He can get a crazy good zone. He has a great hit power. He's a he's an all well-rounded hybrid safety. So if you put him in the line at linebacker, he'll be able to play zone, lay the boom, and be fast and get picks. Or if you leave him at safety, all the same applies. I just feel like and speed's good. He has 91 speed at safety. I think he's super, super great. 
I don't think you should be discounting Marcus May at all. I think he's one of the better options to be taking here. Now, of course, again, you want to focus on depth here. So guys like Harmon and May, they're not exactly depth, but they can be played at linebacker or nickel corner or other things. So remember, they have a lot of places to move around. So I consider them depth positions. The only one so far really not a depth position is going to be Kyler Murray. But again, it's quarterback. So it's a fast quarterback. They're not exactly that common in terms of that speed. Next on the list is a guy that's actually one of the better pass rushers in the game. That's Alden Smith. Alden Smith left end for the Cowboys is super, super good. Left end, eight net overall on the Cowboys. Guys, he's having, a, he's having a pretty great year after, you know, being out of the league for a little bit and having some off-field issues and all the stuff that he's, you know, been through. But 78 speed is not bad. Powered up and chemed up, guys. He's The big deal is going to be that finesse move, that power move, and the play wreck, and even the tackle. Now, the beauty here is that finesse move gets above a 90 if you do put pass rush on him, as well as he has decent enough accel uh, acceleration speed, like he's like an average, typical pass rusher, while also having good tackling, good play wreck, and good. Now, I wish the block was a bit higher, but it's not. But again, it's a free player. So if you get a free player that's going to have a finesse move threshold, it's still really, really good, despite everything else. I don't think he's the best pass rusher in the game, but he's, one, he's up there for one of the better ones, just in terms of the finesse move alone. Now, moving on to number three. Number three is William Jackson right here. William Jackson the third. He's going to be one of the fastest cornerbacks in the game. Uh, he's going to have 92 speed powered up. His man's going to be above 90, and his press can also get above a 90. I'm pretty sure if you max out lockdown on him. Now, the beauty here is really just the speed, because he's going to be able to keep up with guys like Metcalf, Tyreek Hill, um, Calvin Ridley, while also having the man threshold, which means he's going to be great at man, the play rec threshold, and potentially the press threshold. So, only thing he's missing is zone, but again, if you're going to be manning him up on guys like Tyreek and stuff, that's just about perfect. Now, moving on from there, we got the next end. Now, this guy wasn't on the block four, which is kind of annoying, but I really do like him, and I think I might even add him to the squad at some point if if i deem it necessary but he is really good if i do play the free ones i'm not sure i'm gonna take it though i think i'm probably gonna lean towards the number one guy on my list uh it's kind of tough because the number one guy is super super good but there's so many good options you could take legerius needs one of them cornerback man to man for the chiefs guys he gets 92 speed so powered up and chemmed up he gets 93 speed 90 excel that's that's crazy he's gonna be the fast cornerback and he's well, one of the fast cornerbacks in the game while also having great jumping now here's where it matters that when he's powered up and chemmed up he has 87 man 87 zone 88 press so max out lockdown he gets above 90 man zone and press so he's gonna be a zone press and man threshold corner with 93 speed he's gonna be one of the best cornerbacks in the game quite honestly and that is exactly why his price is reflecting that above you know 200k he's one of the best corners in the game if you can get a 93 speed to be that fast while also being able to play everywhere and he's six foot one he's quite literally tall and has every threshold now the play rec threshold may fall short i'm not sure how many upgrades you get on that one but still, it's pretty insane that you're able to go ahead and get a guy like that from Team Standouts and for free. I think, honestly, guys, that was my guy. That's my number two on the list, but he could very easily be number one. It really just depends. And for number one, guys, most of you guys should already know the deal with who number one is. He's the best card here, and it's DK Metcalf. He gets, he just gets crazy speed. Powered up and chemmed up, he gets 93 speed. 93 jumping. His spec catch will get above 90, will go deep. And his deep route running will get above 90 as well. So you're going to have the deep route running threshold, which makes him very similar to guys like um, Tyree Kill, you know, uh, Mark, Mark Clayton, and a few other guys. But the thing with him specifically is that he's going to be six foot three, 93 speed, so he's the fastest out of all of them. Now, again, yes, his Calico probably better at overall as a receiver, yes. But Metcalf's going to be the ultimate burner probably Madden for right now until something else comes out. But he's going to be the ultimate burner with that extra speed that he has plus the height and the weight. And honestly, I think that strength might even help a little bit too, but he's super, super good. And with the ball in his hands, he has a decent juke. Has some decent stuff. Now, again, will his spec catch get above 90? Yes. Will the route running fall a little short everywhere besides deep? Yes. But I think he's great. I think he's a better version of Odell, quite honestly. But that's about it for the video, guys. I think I covered everything. Those are my top seven. Now, again, top eight, sorry. If I had to pick like two right now, right? Probably Metcalf and Sneed, but do not sleep on guys in their list. But Sneed and Metcalf are my top ones uh, by far. By far, I think. The other ones are still great, though, so it really comes down to whether or not your team has players that fill that spot. You have maxed out receivers and maxed out cornerbacks, right? You don't need them. That's how you use this list, right? So you're like, okay, I have cornerbacks and I have receivers. I could use an end or safety, so that's where you go down my list. But that's about it, guys. Shout out in the Poodle Squad. All you got to do is like the video, turn the notification bell, of course, and comment down below Poodle Squad. If you need coins, pick up any of these standouts. You're going to want multiple. I know you're going to want more than one. So if, you, if you're ready to use your free one, go ahead and take advantage and pick up some coins at cheap prices. It's discounted right now. You can buy the players directly on there as well at some point. And that's it. You just go Poodle for an additional 15% off. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>